Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Cattle and Crops. Here we are for part number two. We're going to maybe head off and do some haymaking. So let's go to this mission, bring in the hay. In this mission you learn how to produce hay. Hey, hey, hey. The grass has to be mowed. Tatted multiple times and dried down to the optimal wetness in order to produce hay. Alright, let's accept this bad boy. So the plan for this sort of series for cattle and crops is just to do maybe an episode a week. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Where's our ignition? It's over here, isn't it? Right, there we go. I need to attach... Oop, I keep pressing the wrong button. Attach the mower. There's too much space engineers going on there. Touch the mower to the rear. Pick it up. Woo! Bonus points. Alright, let's head back towards the field. Look, can we get rid of... Yeah, thank you. Get rid of this guy. Oops, I think I pressed the wrong button again. Uh, God, it's so hard when you forget what buttons do what. Okay, look, I want to turn my beacons on. I don't know, let's not worry about it. There's no one else around, let's not worry. Oop, trees. Oop, try not to hit the street lamps. Street signs, even. Alright, so head up towards this field. Get this mowed. Think, oop. Now I can't remember what buttons were for cruise control again now. Somewhere to go around the field and then go to here. How about we just cut across the grass? Uh, fold out the mower, use an X. And we can cut this field. Alright, let's... Uh, let's go, where are we? Settings, controls, where's our input? Ah, here we go. Um, vehicle, where's our engine? Engine is O. How about we do that? Cruise control is T. How about we... Yes. Increase. Yes. Decrease. Yes. That'll do. Save. Done. So now we can... If anyone lower you down... Start mowing. I don't know how fast we're allowed to go. Let's bump it all the way up to 15. So what happens? Oh, oh, maybe about 15. All right. So I don't know how long this is going to take us to get this done, but it's quite interesting. Certainly a different effect compared to what we're used to in um, FS19. That's for sure. It's not a massive field. It looks pretty big on the map, but it's really not in person, I guess. Right, so we have to cut this completely and then come back with a tether and tether the grass. I don't believe we can... I'm still getting some lag here. I don't believe that we can cut grass that isn't on the field. No. Let's go. Oh, that completely dis oh, there we go. So that completely disappeared then. Cutting away. Beautiful. I 
I do like the um, the way the tractors and stuff handle though, that's definitely a bonus. And probably one thing that um, Cattle and Crops I think has done a little bit better than FS19 to be honest. Um, they just feel a lot better, a lot more responsive and a lot better to drive. I do like the whole idea of jumping in and having to actually do the whole My Summer Car thing and actually start the tractor from the inside. Obviously you can press a button from the outside, but starting it from the inside is just uh, quite unique and something a little bit different. Just going through the gears, the fifth gear. It's another thing I like, having the gears as well. I know there are mods available for FS19 which can give you tractors gears and stuff but I guess it would be something I'd like to see in the base game. Nice not have to go searching for mods for, for things like that but I don't know if that will ever happen. Oop, that was too hard a turn. Turn now. Lights on, what time is it? Is it Tommy? Yeah, it's midday. I guess I probably need to brighten brighten the game up a little bit, bring out some more sun. It is cloudy with light fog, but it is 12 30 in the day. It shouldn't be cloudy with light fog. It should be cloudy, yes, but no fog at this time of day. It should be pretty much gone by now. So I'm going to, as I said, try and release one video of Cattle and Crops every week, possibly on a Sunday, um, my time, uh, Australian Standard Time, and then um, that way at least you guys can still sort of see how Cattle and Crops is progressing, and whenever they have an update, you know, you, you should be able to see it, see it live every week, um, for those of you who can't afford to buy Cattle and Crops, who, or who don't really want to buy it yet, and want to wait for it to be finished. At least um, having an episode every week will allow you guys to sort of see what's what's been happening, if, if there's been any changes and that sort of stuff. But I certainly think it's um, a very decent quality game like that. Just the graphics of the tractor and stuff. Like if we drive along here and have a look, you can see all the mud or grass and stuff getting flown off everywhere. Now that is a small, tiny little detail, but that is the small, tiny little detail that I enjoy. I mean, I enjoy seeing mud getting flung everywhere and grass getting thrown around by our wheels. That's that's what would happen in real life, so you know, I enjoy that kind of thing. I'm trying to grab a Ooh, whoa, screenshot there. All my buttons are all weird. With cattle and crops compared to everything else. I've set my screenshot to my um, star button, I guess you can call it, over on the numpad above number nine. That's what I've always used for my um, screenshots on Steam. Yeah, they're the the minus or the dash next to it, top right of the keyboard, is what I use to bring up my. Um, in-game steam menu all right we'll head back this way it's going to take us a fair while to get this done good to have another mower a mower on the front and even a bigger mower on the rear would be nice as well I love these class tractors, they are, they're a nice colour. They do um, look really good and they are really good high quality as well.
All right, I'm going to stop going around, around, around the field. It's going to go up and down, I guess. Try to maximise our our cutting. I know we're driving over the grass, but it doesn't seem to be affecting it too much. I know in FS19, one thing I didn't like um, when it first came out is if you had crop damage on in FS19 in the early version on release day and you drove over the grass, it would actually destroy the grass, which was kind of strange. But luckily they've um, taken that out of the game now, so no longer hurts. Probably just over halfway. It's taken a little while to get it done. And we're gonna to have to come back and tatter it as well. And that sort of thing. Now I don't know if this is um, equipment we own or not. I'm not quite sure. Some of the other guys who played the game may know if this is equipment that we own or we just borrowing it to get these jobs done. I don't know. I think I have got the music turned off. I'm just gonna run straight here. I wanna try and straighten this field up. I don't know how it got so bad in the first place. Uh, let's actually, oops, cut that little bit. Sorry guys, it's about to sneeze, didn't want to do it on camera. Prefer not to scare you guys too much. Let's go back to it and do another run that way, that way at least we can square the field up. Let's cut that little bit that we missed. There we go. Oh, what happened to our cruise control? There we go, it's back now. Kind of went all strange for a minute there. Oh, so that should help straighten the field up a little bit. I certainly like the grass texture when it's been cut. It certainly looks like it's sort of freshly cut. So this has taken us a fair while to get this done. Whoa, there goes that funny camera thing again. It'll be um, much better with more mowers, but this is what we've been given for this job, so we have to just roll with it. The time does go pretty quick in game. It's 1.43 in the afternoon. 13.43, 24-hour time. Still cloudy with some light fog. Can't wait to get a sunny day. Um, I think we have 41,040 euros and 60 cents. 245 experience points, which is probably not many, but game is being saved. Auto save, which is good, but slows us down quite a bit. So I don't know if we'll get this whole job completed this episode. I want to sort of limit them to about 30, 35 minutes per episode, I guess. Uh, with my channel analytics that I see, majority of the time the average view duration on any of my videos is anywhere from 7 to 8 minutes, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of disappointing. I don't know whether people were getting bored of the content or 
people don't like my voice, if people don't like the game, or, or I don't know if maybe people have a limited amount of time to watch YouTube and they sort of, I guess, probably do what I do a little bit. If I'm watching something, sometimes I sort of skip through a little bit. So watch for a few minutes, skip through five minutes and keep watching and skip through another five minutes and keep watching. Depending on what it is, of course. Um, so yeah, I wonder if that's another reason why sort of only getting like the average view duration of like seven or eight minutes but you guys let me know you let me know if you if you watch the whole video or not obviously if you're still here watching now then you probably watch more than most people <laughs> because they've been going for probably 15 20 minutes but yeah it's kind of um a little bit disappointing I guess that people don't watch the whole thing but as I said people can be busy people might not be interested people might just click on it and go oh, this looks interesting and then when they get in and realize that I sound funny they probably don't like it anymore I don't know everybody probably has their own reasons but um, some of you guys still watching here may watch my Subnautica series as well um, that series may be ending pretty soon just not getting the views and um, I don't know if you can call it hype but we're just not getting the views out of it that we were originally so it's kind of becoming a series that um, it's kind of just wasting wasting my time I guess I suppose um, so I don't know click skip Drive to Vehicle Trader. There we go, fold it back up. So all that's done is completed the field for us. Which is interesting. Uh, bring in the hay. Drive to Vehicle Trader. We'll cut across the field again. And I can't remember. No, it's right-hand drive we are. Drive on the right-hand side of the road. Tractor's much quieter without that mower going at the back. It's pretty loud. It's pretty dangerous having it <laughs> turned on with it up in the air like that. So I'm guessing this isn't our... Um, this isn't our equipment. Attach the mower, attach the tetera. Right, drive back to field number 47. Then we can start tethering. So I certainly I do like the graphics in this game, the tractors and the equipment certainly well modeled and really really well done um, a lot of the ground effects and effects of the dirt and the grass and the grass being flung out by the tractor is really really good and they've done certainly have done a very good job on graphics so unfold the tether so you press I yeah, that's right. Oh, can actually see what the buttons are. It's probably a lot easier than doing it the other way. And then, ah, uh, where's our hazard flasher number two? Which we don't want a hazard flasher. Indoor light. So the light in the cab. I guess uh, light work. Flashlights. I don't know. Alright, so let's go turn you on. Lower you down. Oop. Dry the hay down to 50% wetness. Now the grass needs time to dry to become hay. Make sure to tet it every few hours to get the grass. Oh, look at that. That looks good. That certainly looks good. Oh, 
Oh, wrong button again. Screenshot that. That's pretty cool. Uh, drive to vehicle trader. Why are we driving to the vehicle trader? Are we not doing the mission anymore? What's going on there? Doesn't want to tether all the grass. It's like a bit of a... There's a few weird spots actually. Um, can we go... Up. Oh, Jesus, what are we doing there? Ah, uh, okay, that sort of raises and lowers. Which that way I can make sure it's right on... No. Oh, more face palm moments. Alright, oh, let's keep tethering. Let's. Maybe I was going a little bit too fast, I don't know. I'm not sure why he wants us to drive back to the trader already. We want to get the grass tethered. We bring up the map. Uh, yeah, he still wants us to go back there. But we haven't finished doing this yet. Those effects of the tethering are actually really cool. I assume that was what it would be like in real life. I've never actually done it. But you would think it would sort of pick it up and spit it out and throw it around a bit. Let's just tether this bit we missed before. Certainly a lot different to um, FS19 tethering. I don't know, it doesn't seem to want to tether all of it. it might be the speed. I don't know. So I think we were at about 15 yeah, 15 kilometers an hour we were tethering at before. So I think the, um... Where are we? I'm trying to be used this one. Let's go about halfway. Because I think it was just lifting us up off the ground a little... Ah, damn it. Lifting us up off the ground a little bit then. So one thing the FS19 did well was you could just hold the forward key and it wouldn't let you go any faster than the machine would work anyway. But then again, this is another good thing because you've sort of got to think about what you're doing and make sure you're doing it at the appropriate speed, not doing it too quick. Otherwise, as you can see, it's not going to work. Uh-oh. What's going on with the tether now? Some weird things going on today. Some really strange things. Uh, is there anything to do with... There we go, see if that helps. Is that saying that we've completed it? I don't know. I think the mission might have glitched out a little bit, unfortunately. Alright, so you got like a hot bar down the bottom too. Slots 1 to 10. Which is interesting. I don't know why I would need that. But it's there. So we're not far off getting it done. Any a few more runs, I think. Two or three more runs, and we will be finished. Yeah, 
it's it's a little bit hard to see where we haven't been. It'd be good if it made it a lighter colour when you tether it as well. But the more times you tether it, the lighter the colour gets. At least so you can sort of see where you've been. I mean, if you look for the the green, the light green patches. As you can sort of see there on the left hand side of the tether now, that's obviously where we have tethered because it's moved the grass from that part of the ground and thrown it somewhere else. Alright, a couple more runs and then we'll be finished. But yeah, it's fairly positive. The game has got a pretty good future if they get it all right and optimise it and all that sort of stuff and I feel like they need to give us a little bit more information on our map with our fields and that sort of thing. Um, I guess that's up to the developers whether they want to do that or not. Let's duck through that bush and then back towards the field. Make sure we're not going to run out in front of someone. Uh, there is a button. It's like a cruise control button. Uh, autopilot is N. So we go this way and press N. It'll drive for us. We won't even have to touch anything. Look at that. It's pretty cool. We drive faster anyway. Alright, so back at the shop. Weather has turned to rain. No way to produce quality bales now. Oh no. Return to the farm and wait for better weather. Oh wow, thank you very much. Cloud strong, rain density strong, storm is the current weather. Oh, it could have done that while I was actually you know, still tethering. Oh jeez, we've got a long way to go to get back to our farm. So the map looks pretty good, but I'd like it, like us to be able to like use our mouse to hover over things and see the field information and that sort of stuff. Like it tells us. Yep, field. 43 and that sort of stuff. It doesn't actually tell us um, look at that. All those wheel tracks. It actually looks muddy and we're actually sinking in. That looks really good. Um, it doesn't actually tell us if we own it, if it's cultivated, if it's ploughed, if it's seeded, if it's fertilised, none of that stuff, which is something that, to me, is pretty important as a farmer to know what you have and haven't done yet. And a lot of these fields are just empty. We'll return back to the farm and see what it says to do now. Because I think we're probably nearly at the limit of our um, of our episode. Just about to hit half an hour. And I was sort of trying to keep the videos a little bit shorter, about half an hour in length. So we'll head up here and see what they have to say. A bad looking farm. Ooh, exit the tractor. How about we. Ah, oh, goddamn auto saves. So, this isn't our tractor, I don't think. That's our tractors and stuff there. How about we put this guy away? Out of the rain. Seeing as though it's not ours, we sort of want to take good care of it. Look at our other tractor next to us, that thing's bloody filthy. Alright. Shut it down. Jump out. Enter the Arion 530. It stopped raining and the grass is dry. Drying in the sun. Let's go back to the field and make sure it can dry evenly. Okay. Uh.
let's go. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get it done, but I probably should have just followed the instructions and drove back to here when I said to drive back. Um, map. Let's let's cut a shortcut. Let's just head towards the red dot. So it's now 7:35. Uh, it doesn't give us a date, I don't think. I don't know, it's, we've got the pause, play, times two, times three, and probably the next day, two, four, hour, two thousand, I don't know what that means. Uh, 7.39 in the morning, sun and clear, that's what we want, some sun. So from what I said before, we don't just tether it once. Which is something that happens in FS19. We tether it once and it's hay straight away. Here we're going to have to tether it once. And then it might only dry it to say 20%. We have to tether it again. To say 30-40%. Then tether it again. Um, I think we have... Some grass. No, some grass. Some water here that we can't go around. Let's duck across through these trees and try not to hit one not that I can see oh just missed those power poles and then we'll head straight across this way cut across these fields again but normally wouldn't do this but seeing as though we're right near the end of our episode I sort of want to just get there as quick as we can there's no crops on these fields but look at that look at those tyres digging into the ground that is awesome. Tiny little effect, but makes a big difference to the the realism and the feel of the game. Okay, the hay needs more time to dry now. Make sure to tet it every few hours to get the grass from the bottom to the top so it can dry evenly. Good hay will have around 10 to 20% wetness left. So it says skip. Um, so, right normal speed yep I'm not sure what these things are it could be version 2.4 of the game I guess um, all right it's interesting let's keep it going it doesn't actually tell us the wetness though anywhere Now it's going to make it quite hard for us to know where we have and haven't actually tethered. I think, are they all wheel tracks in the distance we've driven through before? Not quite sure. So I said, it needs to sort of change colour a little bit so you can distinguish whether you've actually tethered this spot or not. sort of looks exactly the same colour to me so we're not going to get maximum efficiency by doing it this way you can sort of have a rough guess as to where we've been but sort of no guarantees right, let's click skip All right, drive to vehicle trader we're probably going to have to wind row it which if we do, that'll be an episode for another day. Oh, let's try not to drive out in front of anyone. Can we... So what's going on there? Didn't want to let us go very fast did it all right so we'll go here turn right head back into the vehicle trader and see what he has available there's our timer going off in the background so certainly in the episode here we'll just see what he has to say to 
attach the head up or stick it over it. Oh Jesus, over here next to the mower. Boom. Complete mission. Boo yeah. Progress 90%. 90%. 35 minutes. Send mission data to server. Okay. Alright. So we received 15 XP, 125 XP. Achieved rece achievement receives fruits for your labour. More XP, more XP. No seriously bring in the bales. No seriously bring in the hay. Okay, um, learn how to use the rake and loader wagon, learn how to use the rake and the baler. I think we'll um, accept this one, because I feel like that'll be the one that we should do for the next episode. Alright, attach the bale fork and attach the wind rower, I guess. But, um, right out guys, we'll, um, and the episode here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. This one is um, certainly going to be an interesting game to keep an eye on. As I said um, in my previous video, I was a very, very, very early backer of this game. Um, when all there was was like a tractor and a test track. So, certainly come a long way. And I'm glad to be having a proper look at it now. I've never actually really played it, to be honest. So, it's good to to get in have a look and show you guys what it is and what it can do so if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button leave a comment and if you're new to the channel and have not subscribed yet guys please do so it's been bruno thanks for watching see you again soon